this is Luna the Moon Tarot. So let's see what is your uh, remaining days of November for the fellow signs Aquarius looks like. Okay, this is for my dear Aquarians. Let's see what is it that your how your months look is looking like remaining days of November. Also remember that this is a collective spread. It may may not resonate with each and every one of you. Do check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter signs. Time is fluid. It may may not resonate right now, but it may do later. And in case if you are looking for personal private session, paid session, you can anytime reach out to me on Instagram. My link is in the description box below. I do take private reading as well. All right, so let's see what is it what should we expect in the remaining days of November in the life of my dear Aquarians? This is for my dear Aquarians. Mm, King of Pentacles. Someone seems very busy here working their ass off. All right, somebody is very, very busy or they can be a third party situation. Both is seen on the cards. Okay, for a few of you, it can be very busy. It can be a third party that you're juggling between two people in your life. All right. Then we have the devil. We have the world. We have queen of cups here. And what else do we have? Oops, I'm going to take it all back. One more card, please. card was like upside down okay there were a few of them one more card please so this is for my dear Aquarius what is going to happen in the remaining days of November in their life please one more card and the high priestess Aquarius, what I see in the remaining days of November, I see there was a new beginning that happened in your life, okay? You uh, went along with that beginning. There was a, It was a very passionate beginning that was there seen on the cards, okay? That was driven by passion, okay? Very, very, very passionate beginning. And I see that, you know, you were hiding something from this person or someone was hiding something. They were not very open or you were not very open in this particular connection. Okay, I see that now, a bit of light, right? So I see that, that somebody was hiding uh, things and, you know, uh, there were few, uh, I would not say lies, but then there was not openness. Either you uh, you were hiding something about yourself or they were hiding something about themselves and uh, they got into this particular connection, okay? And this particular connection started with a lot of passion, with a lot of passion, okay? I see that, you know, um, I would not say they were lies because four of pentacles tells me that, you know, some person was like closed off and they were hiding things. They were not very transparent. They just jumped into this particular connection and they took a leap of faith. Right. But I, I doubt, you know, that there was some sort of stability that was seen. Uh, with king of pentacles i see there was a third party or you are thinking about another person even when you are with this person or you're way too busy i also feel that there can be a new project that you were working upon you took a leap of faith you started a new project or you were a part of a new project right and you are right now very much invested in your in, in your work and it has become very toxic for you and you know in your in your mental state as well you know you you're not uh happy when it comes to your mental health as well i feel you're juggling with that okay but it is because of money you know you're probably you're thinking or you're looking at good money from through this particular project you want to continue that okay 
you want to continue that and you want these things to get sorted out in your life so that you know uh, you are able to take a break and you are able to relax a bit okay and you can take care of your body as well and your mental health as well but then you are not sure when this particular cycle is going to come to an end wherein you are just slogging your ass off right now so definitely something related to finances and new project and business and money is also seen on the cards but when we talk about your love life i see that there is a possibility that either you are investing too much time on your work or there is a third party situation just take how it may resonate and the rules can be reversed here but yeah i see that either you are investing too much time in your work or uh, there is a third party situation and probably you had somebody in your life or they had somebody in your life when you actually kick-started this new passionate connection but you kept on thinking about that person okay you kept on thinking about that person to a level wherein you know that everything and this new connection also became very toxic in your life so oh ace of pentacles ace of pentacles definitely you're looking for a stability you're looking for more money you're looking for a new business idea or a new job has already started or you're looking for one okay however getting back to the reading i see that you know uh that you know there was a third party situation or probably a third person that you were thinking about even when you stepped into a new connection with this person with the your recent person i see that either that connection was a little toxic or you be, or you were making it toxic but definitely there is some sort of obsession phobias when it comes to commitments either somebody somebody is definitely having phobias when it comes to commitment so i see that you jumped from that person to this person because you had phobia of commitment which you can you know you couldn't proceed and now when you are in this particular connection which I really doubt that you are actually in love. There is only a lot of passion that is involved, which is like a physical uh, need that is there, fling, casual, whatever you call it. But even if you are with this person, I see you thinking about your past person, the third person to whom, you know, uh, who was much more stable in your life and who was looking for a commitment, it seems. Okay. And you got scared okay you had that phobia and you jumped from that person you you left that connection you jumped towards this connection uh which is new in your life uh, but it is not helping you i see that you are thinking about that person a lot okay the world card tells me that you know uh this particular negativity that you are going through right now it is going to get over i see that there is some sort of transformation that is going on some side of some sort of cycle which is going on in your life okay which uh which is about to end probably this cycle was something to do with your love life okay you were being very negative you were being very heartbroken and and um, I feel that there was a lack of stability in your life probably because of you because you were not ready to commit or probably you were not able to find somebody who can make your heart flutter feel that kind of you know who can make you feel stable and secure but I see that particular negativity that cycle is going to come to an end with queen of cups you're realizing that you know you uh, want a connection or probably your past person was somebody who was very caring very nurturing who was very sensitive and emotional towards you and you and you know and you're thinking right now what is what is happening with that person the high priestess is the unknown thing okay so probably uh you were with a person or you are with a person just take how it may resonate okay uh who was into tarot or watching uh uh, who was into spirituality tarot somebody who used to uh who had some sort of spiritual work who was into or who is into some sort of spiritual work i'm listening and maybe you are all actually watching tarot or consulting any psychics or they used to go ahead and do that but then the high priestess is telling me that there is some sort of spiritual journey that may have kicked in uh within you or probably this person that you were thinking about the third party or the person that you are connected with that person belongs from that particular uh area okay so now see let's uh, we'll find out more okay with the clarifiers so let's start uh, with King of Pentacles. Why is King of Pentacles here, please? Why is King of Pentacles here, please? Any Aquarius is reading. The first card that came out is Two of Pentacles and the Star, your own card, your own energy, Aquarius. I see that. Uh, 
I see that, you know, you're literally juggling. When King of Pentacles arrived, I thought so that there is a third party situation or you're looking for commitment or you're looking for finances to improve finances or probably you were literally working and focused on your work only, right? But then right now I see that you're literally juggling with your finances as well. So for a few of you, I'm hearing that there is some juggling with your finances that is happening in your life right now. Probably that is why that is also one of the reasons that you had to uh, move on from that your past person okay because you couldn't give that amount of time or emotional stability or ready to invest emotionally in that particular connection but you're quite hopeful you're quite kind of healing right now and you're quite hopeful that your financial situation is also going to get better and the juggling that you are having in, in your thought process regarding your love life between your past person and this person that is also going to get sorted out okay but right now it is the time when you are paying attention to your finances and your career right now your your business or your job right now because you want things to become better okay and if that, that was a third party then you're juggling within yourself you know between the third not the third party i would say i would say that the third party is only in your mind okay in your mind in terms of you're not seeing them okay it's just that that you do think about them and the devil is clarified by ten of wands and ace of wands here we have two ace of wands here what i feel uh, that you know that particular person or that particular uh uh you know the past person became a little uh over overwhelming for you to handle emotionally right uh right and uh that's why you got into this new connection because it was full of it was no commitment okay it was a no commitment connection it was something that was casual that was something to do with flings and all that stuff but with ten of wands it tells me that you know that you are even not able to let go and you're obsessing over this person okay you're obsessing over this person even if it you were the one who chose to move out of that particular connection and start a new one i see that you are still not able to let go of them their thoughts are obsessing or uh, you know making you obsessed with them so you're definitely thinking about that person a lot okay to uh, to to an extent wherein you are becoming obsessive at times for a few of you i see that probably you or your person have some sort of addiction issues as well that can also be seen on the cards in in case yes just cut it down okay ace of pentacles is clarified by nine of pentacles and queen of pentacles so sorry whoa okay so i feel that you know this uh person who was looking for a commitment your past person who was looking for a commitment probably you were in a connection only not a relationship but that person wanted a commitment right right now you see them as somebody who uh was a wish fulfillment and who uh you know when you sit down you realize that you know whenever you try and compare uh, other people in your life that you're trying to date or connect with you you feel that you know that was the best option or probably that uh, that person was the best person person you have ever got in your life okay that person was the best amongst the entire lot that you have actually been on a date with okay and now you think that that person was quite abundant quite full of you know um confident somebody who is uh who was very um polished and uh, somebody who has been single and somebody who is very grounded looking for a much more fruitful or probably a stable connection okay and now you feel that you know that person was good okay that th that person was good enough because they were not into flings even if they were uh, uh into a single energy i don't think so that person was looking for flings or casuals and you were looking for fling or a casual now you're worried that in case if even if you try to connect with them and speak to them will they be speaking to you or not because with queen of swords energy i feel that you know this person may be giving you a cold shoulder now because of what you have done in the past with them okay now you're scared about that now let's see the world card why is the world card here Mm. 
The world card is clarified by the lovers and the high priestess again. What I feel right now, guys, uh, dear Aquarians, is somewhere down the line, okay, I feel that now you realize that, you know, you were looking for a true love and you want a true love in your life. And all of a sudden, you now feel that, you know, this person that you, uh, who was there, you feel a very spiritual bond, very deep bond with this person. And you feel that you are actually in love with this person. It was a divine connection. And you actually, somewhere down the line, I feel that now you're regretting it. Okay. You want this this silence between you and them to go away this silence between you and them uh to uh, be gone okay and you want this person to uh now so basically you are realizing the fact that you know what you have done okay you are realizing that fact you're feeling that bond you're feeling that depth you're feeling that emotional connect you're feeling that divine connect with this person you are now feeling that this particular person that you were connected with you know at that point of time you were feeling it as a burden but now you feel that it was much more on a spiritual level and now that realization is something which is bothering you okay which is definitely bothering you queen of cups let's see why is queen of cups here an Aquarius is spread. Right. Clarified by Nine of Wands and the Fool card. Um, I see that, you know, uh, you want a new beginning, okay? You want a fresh new start with this person, your past person, okay? Uh, but at the same point of time, I feel that, you know, uh, you may have blocked them or they may have blocked you okay and now you're looking forward to have a new beginning with this person either you have blocked them they have blocked you and now you're thinking and wondering how should i approach them back or you're wondering how should i how will they be approaching me uh, or how will i be approaching them because i am blocked something of that sort i'm i'm sensing okay somebody has blocked somebody over here and now you're looking for a new start okay because you're realizing the worth of this particular person okay you you are in love with this person and you're realizing that what you have lost okay you want a new beginning with this person okay you want you're craving for that why is the high priestess here why is high priestess here clarified by page of swords and the world card again mm. what i see right now dear Aquarius, that definitely i see that you may have met this person oh my god ace of pentacles again you're looking you're desperate to settle down now okay aquarians i feel that you're looking for a commitment you're looking for stability you're looking for finances to prove you're looking for a new project but ace of pentacles is talking about most oh ace of cups oh my god you were very attracted to this person physically you were very attracted towards this person you want a reconciliation okay you want them to choose you but and you're feeling stuck on them you don't know what to do what 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 to do actually and how to plan this comeback okay you how to plan this reconciliation ace of cups is also telling me now you're feeling very emotionally uh uh, you uh, emotional towards this person and your emo and your emotions are your cup of emotions are overflowing right you want a new beginning and this time a more committed one now you're realizing what you have done and what you have caused okay but you have no direction as to how it's going to happen i see that you may be stalking them online okay with page of swords or i see that you may have met online through some kind of app or something or probably you're just stalking them on social media and uh, you want you want this negative cycle to end you want this no contact situation or this blocking game or whatsoever is going on between you and this person your past person you want this thing to end i don't think so this this new beginning that uh you started i don't even think so that it is actually something that you even care about that much but you do care about your past person because over here new beginning is ace of wands which may have started immediately but it fell down as well and over here it's ace of pentacles that tell me that you're regretting 
you're regretting because you let go of this much more stable connection that you had with this person okay you want this cycle to end now okay you want this no contact situation this blocking and whatsoever has happened this to end you want a message to come in and you are thinking to send them a message um okay and something is definitely there happening in your mind and you're you know somewhere down the line you want to connect with this person but then you're not even taking any actions there aquarians in case if you want to connect with this person you really need to think about it and you know there's an one, another deck that is uh, just near me and you know i just looked at it all of a sudden and it is lying from so long and i've been doing so many readings but all of a sudden when i looked at it it says regret it says regret you're regretting definitely regretting aquarians all right, guys, so that's about it. In the remaining days of November, this is what is going to happen. And uh, in case if you are interested, again, uh, for a paid reading, you can hit me up on my Instagram page. I'll be happy to read, do a personal session for you. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. And any cross-watchers, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.